Hey guys, this is um, Nat Time back here with another Boyfriend to Death video. Um, so I again skipped the entire first part because I'm just doing Lawrence's route. Um, also my headphones broke so now they only play out of one ear, which is really annoying. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna try and make this video short too because I don't have a lot of time to do this, but yeah, let's uh, let's continue here. Uh, well, that was weird. I started walking down the sidewalk and felt something tap my shoulder. I jumped, startled, and turned around. Lawrence, dot dot dot. Ah! You startled me. He seemed to be struggling with what to say. Ren's path split from mine. Um, I think I'll go, uh, God. I kind of want to ignore him, but not really. Um, I'll say better luck next time. I think that's exactly what I said last time, too. <laughs> it's late. Ren left by himself. And I should go, too. Ren was different. Um... I'll say I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My apology didn't seem to calm him down. Uh, I'm not gonna dodge. What? I, before I could react, his fist connected with my face. I stumbled back, my ears ringing. What the? He started walking towards me, and I looked back up in panic. He's crazy. I started running down the street away from him. As I, I stumbled a bit as I tried to run. All the drinks I had earlier in the night were slowing my steps. Ironic, because I, I didn't have any. <laughs> I kept moving. I couldn't hear him behind me. There was an alleyway to the right. I'm gonna just go straight ahead. I kept running past the alley. I slowed slightly to take a look over my shoulder. What? I felt his whole body weight slam into me from behind as uh, before I hit the ground. My head cracked on the sidewalk, and I fought to stay awake. I could feel him panting with effort on top of me. What? Oh no. I should also mention that, um, the game, my game is kind of wigging out on me right now, so I can't put it into full screen, which is why it's half screen in the video, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Are you okay? My first sensation was panic and dread. I froze, not wanting to open my eyes until I could recall what just happened. The next thing I noticed was the smell. The next thing I noticed was the smell. Earthly, warm, and something sickly sweet. I tried to identify the familiar smell as I became aware of some sounds. I could hear shuffling and light scrapes of metal on wood. It's okay, I'll, I'll fix it. I slowly opened my eyes. It'll be easy. Um, I think this time I'll stay quiet. I wasn't sure I should make any sound. He kept talking to himself quietly. It won't be like last time. Just, just stay calm. Ah, you're awake. I gulped and stared at him. Where? My eyes dart- oh, <laughs> My eyes darted around the room. <laughs> Some sort of studio apartment. There were plants everywhere. Uh, okay, you're probably feeling a little... I tried to move. I couldn't. Hey, calm down. I looked around the room and saw my arms and legs were tightly taped to a wooden chair. I started to breathe faster and I looked back up to him. I can explain this. Something about this guy seemed... Uh, unstable. Um... What do you want with me? What? No, no, I, I don't want anything. I mean, I do. I did. Ugh. Look. Things just got a lot- ugh. Things just got a little out of hand. He paused, thinking. I'd been talking to Ren for a couple of weeks, you know, on the internet. I was so nervous. He started to fidget. And then you showed up, and Ren left, and, and, 
I listened quietly, but he trailed off. I shifted uncomfor uncomfortably, feeling more nervous. And now you're here. I couldn't just leave you there. I pulled slowly at the tape around my wrists, beginning to sweat. He looked away. I should never leave. It's not worth it. All I found was another problem. Um, I'll tell him I don't have to be a problem again. He paused. What? I, I can be your friend instead. Your... I don't think that's a good idea. I had to think of something to convince him. And this time I'm going to say I see you like plants. I can see you like plants. He paused and glanced around at the ferns and potted flowers in his apartment. I guess. Uh-oh. <laughs> um... I like to garden too. R really? He glanced around at all of his plants. It's just something I do to keep me busy. I mean, I need to have something to think about. And I like taking care of them. He began to look a little happier. They're delicate. Dot dot dot. What? I like the way they need me. That's why I like it too. He lit up. You understand? Ah, it's kind of nice to meet someone like that. Well, you know, he trailed off. I, uh, he paused and took a deep breath. Ugh. He began to pace around his apartment. You, what am I gonna do with you? It's getting early. I should, I should rest. I, I can't think straight right now. I found myself wondering what time it was. The sun was rising, but I was too frightened to feel tired. You're probably tired too. You're probably de- oh god, I can't say this word. <laughs> do you- diurnal. Diurnal. Sounds like urinal. <laughs> You're probably diurnal, right? I kept you up all night. I'm really not sleepy. You- I need you to sleep. I'll just make you some tea to help you sleep. Politely accept the tea. <laughs> he already had me taped to the chair. What was the point of refusing? Um, thank you. He started moving somewhere behind me to make the tea. That was a very nice sunrise. At least he put me in front of a window. <laughs> I strained to see what was what he was doing, but I couldn't turn my head enough. <laughs> I could I could only try to relax as I heard him quietly clinking objects out of my view. After waiting in silence, Looking at his plants and hearing some kind of humidifier in the room, I began to feel genuinely tired. I wonder what he's got plugged into that little outlet right there. It should be cool enough now. He returned and glanced at my arms, still taped to the chair. Oh. Oh, his face is red. <laughs> he leaned forward and brought a cup of tea to my lips gently. It was very warm and tasted unfamiliar, but not bad. I tried to drink it fairly quickly, but I began to feel a bit strange about halfway through. What? What is this? It's proof. It doesn't take much to change everything. What? This wasn't any normal tea. Duh. As I was about to pass out, I finally recognized the sickly sweet smell. It was him. It smelled like something rotting. I slowly opened my eyes. I wonder if he's like secretly a zombie or something. You're awake. I jolted up. I jolted upright in the chair. H how long is was he watching me? You're beautiful. I felt my cheeks reddened. Shocked.
<gasps> what? His fingers trailed down my neck as he ignored my question. I wasn't looking properly before. You were asleep for a long time. He touched the back of my neck. I need to... I watched as he picked something up. He picked up... What? He picked up something from the table and moved quickly behind me. What are you doing? I felt something cold and sharp touch, touch the nape of my neck. If I was a titan, I would be dead. <laughs> my voice rose in panic as I repeated myself. What are you doing? Stop. Ow! I love the curve. I whimpered as the sharp pain increased of your spine. Dun dun dun. I desperately tried to look at him. I cried out as the movement hurt my neck more. He sighed happily as I felt something warm run down my back. Please, Lord. He placed one hand over my mouth, muffling the rest of my begging. I groaned into his hand as he cut further down, from, b from the back of my neck to between my shoulder blades. Do I, like, not have a shirt on or something? Oh, whoops. What did I do? <laughs> Oops. Uh. Return? Okay. <laughs> I almost took in a whole breath of relief before I felt him push a finger into the opening. Oh, I'm gonna die here pretty soon. <laughs> That's not good. His grip tightened and I screamed behind his hand as he slid his finger down the open wound on my neck. I was shaking and blood was running down my back now. I could feel it soaking my shirt. Oh, so I do have a shirt on. <laughs> what kind of shirt am I wearing? <laughs> I want to keep it. He breathed softly right next to my ear and moved his hands to rub his fingers around my back to my collar. I imagined it must look like I was wearing a necklace out of my own blood now. He stepped back into my view as I gulped, beginning to feel lightheaded. I can't let you go. He leaned in closer. You understand, right? Please, at least let me use the bathroom. I asked him desperately. I didn't want to try and get away. But it was also true. Dot dot dot. I, I guess it's okay. My eyes widened. That really worked? Uh, I waited patiently as he pulled out the small knife. I'm going to cut the tape. Then, uh... You can use the bathroom. And after, just just sit back in the chair. Got it? I nodded eagerly. Of course. <laughs> he silently cut through the tape. There. Go ahead. I hoisted myself up shakily. As I'm bleeding, like, severely from my back. <laughs> he watch He was watching me carefully, still holding that knife. So this is different. <laughs> I slipped into the small dark bathroom and closed the door. I flicked on the light. Oh. Well, that's a lot of plants. <laughs> wow, he's even got mushrooms in the soap over here. I wonder if that's what he's on. I flicked on the light. I gasped quietly. Even more plants. Yeah, exactly. It was so warm and musty, because there's shrooms right there. I sighed, gathering gathering my thoughts. Okay. Um. Let's freshen up. Well, as long as I'm here, I used the bathroom to wash up. It helped me feel a little better, at least. I'll examine the room now. Because I don't want to lock the door. He might kick it down and kill me. <laughs> I looked around the bathroom. I couldn't find anything even close to a weapon. Well, there's the shower cord right there that I could use. <laughs> anything can become a weapon if you're desperate enough. There were no windows either. There's no way out. I checked the medicine cabinet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Only a whole bunch of jars and bowls filled with various powders and liquids. I rolled my shoulders and hissed in pain. Maybe there's something here that can help. Everything looked homemade. 
I wonder if he has a job. It's probably killing people. Barely anything was labeled, and the few things that had labels were cryptically scrawled. I eventually picked out two that looked promising. There was a clear liquid uh, in the bottle labeled numb, and there was another thick syrupy and- what? A, a, a what? <laughs> the other was a thick syrupy amber liquid in a jar labeled for pain. I will do what my mother told me not to do, and I will drink a random substance. I squinted at the jar. Well, I have to do something. It really hurts. I shakily pried open the jar. It says it's for pain. Pretty self-explanatory. It smelled sweet. Is it- is this just honey? Not seeing a spoon or anything, I just tilted the jar to my lips. Cause that's what you do. I'm sure it's- Ah! I coughed and gripped the sink. It tastes awful. <laughs> I grimaced and concentrated on swallowing the thick and sticky substance. Ugh. I put the jar down and waited for something to happen. After a few moments, my injuries started to feel... I leaned forward. It hurts. I shuddered and suppressed a whimper. It hurts more. Oh no. I slumped against the door as a deep, dull pain spread through the rest of my body. Fuck. I will lock the door now because I do not see an end in sight. <laughs> this door locks from the inside. Maybe I can wait him out. I tried to turn the lock carefully, but it made a loud click. My heart was pounding. Oh no. Ian? I kept holding the doorknob, beginning to sweat. I heard his footsteps. I gasped as the door shook in my grip. Oh no. Come out, Ian. I can't give in. I can't wait him- I can wait him out. <laughs> I turned around and pressed my back to the door. Give up. Yeah. I can't do this. I- I'm coming out. Oh, he's gonna punch me in the face and I'm gonna die. <laughs> I heard him step away from the door. He didn't say anything. He's gonna kill me! <laughs> I squeezed my eyes shut and unlocked the door. Dot dot dot. I stepped out slowly, looking around. Wh where Ah! Oh no, please don't. <laughs> oh, why do you look so scary? He twisted my arm behind me and pinned me to the wall. Lo Lawrence, quiet. He pressed his body against mine harshly, wrenching my arm painfully. I wheezed softly, unable to take a breath or speak. My struggle was only punctuated by his ragged breathing. What? Punctuated? Is that the right word? I don't think- okay. <laughs> it was right next to my ear, in my neck. I keep still, hoping he'd calm down. He began to pull away. I took a deep breath, only to have it kicked out of me by a sharp- knocked out of me by a sharp blow to my ribs. I crumpled to the floor, clutching my side. My mind was screaming at me to apologize. I croaked out a sob, realizing I was shivering. I felt so cold and weak. My head slumped down. I couldn't keep my eyes open. Dot dot dot. Ian? His voice sounded so far away, and the cold was starting to feel uncomfortable. I'll just rest for a bit. Oh, this is new. <laughs> I'm excited. Cold. I'm cold again. Oh, whoa, what? <laughs> okay. Uh, ugh. I can't move. Oh my god, what is this? I used the tiny amount of strength to look around myself. Dot dot dot. Oh, no. God, no. S somebody I was naked, tied. Rope and bones. What? Rope and bones. Something's bones. All over me. Why? I could hardly struggle. I was too weak. 
I shivered against the tree I was bound to. Some something, no, many somethings. Wah! He'd painted lines all over me. Some what? Something sweet and sticky. Insects were all over it, crawling, biting. I used what little strength I had left to. Left, what? I used what little strength I had left trying to scream. No human came. Only more scavengers. Oh, oh, oh that was cool. <laughs> you were taken to the, you were taken into the woods. So that's how I died. All right. So I'm going to end this video here because it is 20 minutes long. Um, thank you for watching. This was fun. I'm really glad I didn't get bled out again. <laughs> As you can like if you watch the last three videos is what happened um but yeah thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the video um if you did be sure to subscribe for more uh this will be the last one for a little while because i am on break and i'm going away for a little bit so yeah um i will see you guys next time thank you